Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Humanity. Look how far you fall. Greetings, programs, and welcome to Pop Culture Therapy. I'm your host, Stone Loki. Recently, I had the opportunity to rewatch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I gotta tell you, I love Tarantino movies. I absolutely love Tarantino movies. The first Tarantino movie I saw was Pulp Fiction in theaters, and I was hooked. I got a copy of Reservoir Dogs after that and watched it and absolutely loved it. And I have been a rabid Tarantino fan ever since. But something I saw when I rewatched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood made me think about something. And I've been kind of worried about it. The first time I watched it, I thought the scene where they put Leonardo DiCaprio in The Great Escape was epic. I was like, man, he looks like he is supposed to be there. He looks like he was really there with the actors acting in that scene in that movie. You could not tell that they, they just put him in there. It was perfect. Rewatching it, however, has made me worry. Now, I, I don't worry. I'm not going crazy. It's not like, oh no, Loki's gone insane. I'm just kind of worried about something and I wouldn't put it past Hollywood to do it. We have seen them pull some weird shit and with the fact that the all the reboots are failing lately, I wouldn't put it past some insane director to actually try this shit. Can they go back and change a movie that's 60 years old? George Lucas did it with Star Wars movies. It wasn't that old, but he went back and changed things. He invented the Han shot first fight. Because he changed what happened. He changed the dynamic of a scene. He changed how that scene is viewed. And a bunch of Star Wars fans went nuts. Because Han shot first. And that that's a fact. What happens if Hollywood decides, well, you know, Steve McQueen was too anti-PC at the time and they replace him in The Great Escape. They re-release The Great Escape with one or two different actors, current day actors playing roles. Would, would they be able to get away with that? I think they would try. I'm, I'm waiting for this to happen. I really am. With the way they have treated history in Hollywood and that history should be rewritten over and over and over and over again. Could they get away with this? Could they get away with this and make it profitable? Now I know. Don't give them any ideas, Loki. I haven't given them anything. Quentin Tarantino did it. He did it and it looked real. It looked like he did that scene. He replaced Steve McQueen in those scenes. Those were not redone. Those scenes were not remade. They inserted a current day actor into the old scenes that have already been filmed and replaced him. And I'm sure, I'm sure that was not Tarantino's drive for all this to kick off some kind of let's go back and remake movies. He just wanted to have his character in his alternate universe have a scene in that movie where he could have been him. You know, it's not Leo. It's Tarantino's character that, that was in that movie. 
But would Hollywood take advantage of that today? Would they take advantage of that and decide, well, this person, they were on the wrong side of history, so let's go back and replace them with somebody today. Or, well, this person didn't hold our political beliefs in Hollywood today, so let's go back and replace them. This person did this, so let's replace them. We've seen that with movies today. We've seen them go back before a movie has been released and spend a few weeks recasting a character and replacing them. And the movie comes out with the replaced character. They take out the scenes, they replace them with a different actor because they did something wrong. But that's before a movie comes out. That's not an old movie that's been around for 50 years. Would they do that? I think they would. I think this is something we have to watch out for. I think this is something we cannot allow them to do. We cannot allow them to go back and change historical movies. Movies that it, it's art. George did that. George has already done that. And he kind of got away with it, but everybody called him on his shit. It was a shit storm. It was a shit storm when they saw the, the, the new Star Wars movies. Yeah, you cleaned up the film. Yeah, you threw in some little special effects, but you changed things. You changed dynamic interactions that were set in stone, and that changed parts of the movie for the worse, for the detriment of the movie. You have purists out there that will not watch the CGI manipulated movies. They want the originals. You have a black market on the internet dedicated to preserving the original movies, whether they're VHS copies, whether they've been digitally remastered and that's it, no extra CGI bullshit. You've already got that. And let me tell you something. With Hollywood's push to turn everything digital, you will have no control over what they decide to do to your movie. Imagine them recasting Die Hard just because they want to and changing those roles, changing the actor's roles for whatever reason. Oh, well, this person liked to bite their fingernails, so we don't want them in this movie. They could, they could do it with anything, and they have complete control over it if they own the IP. Disney just got a shitload of movies from Fox that they can go back and change, just like this. And whether people throw a fit or not, they can do it. We already know that money doesn't matter. They could go back and they could spend $10 million on an old movie, only make back five, and they're happy because they just changed history. They changed history to suit their goals. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it if you don't have a hard copy of the movie. So this is the scene we've been talking about. I'm going to play it real quick. Uh, that way you all can see it. Ten days it's me. seamless. Captain. 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 Ten days. Right. right. Oh, uh, you'll still oh, be, here, uh, you'll still be here when I get out. Cooler. So... Here's my problem. What if they decide to go too far? I love Tarantino. I think Tarantino's an incredible director. I think that he's an incredible writer. I love his movies. I think the first time I saw that, I was speechless. I was I love The Great Escape. I fucking love The Great Escape. And to see him do that, I was completely amazed because it's it's perfect. But what if they go too far? What if they decide that 
someone in the past wasn't PC enough, wasn't on the right side narrative there they want to talk about and they remove them from a movie don't tell me it can't happen with all the remakes failing and the history we have with things like this happening in Hollywood and it has happened it happened to the original Star Wars trilogy George that changes the aspect of a movie that changes the history of a movie. It can change all sorts of things in a movie. What if they decide to change dialogue? What if they decide to change the meaning behind a scene? How is that going to affect historical movies in the future? So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Maybe I'm worried for nothing. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm maybe I'm losing it. But I don't really believe that they are beyond doing this to classic movies. I really think that they're gonna turn their eye towards this and they're gonna make a point of doing this at some point. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy watching my channel, please subscribe and ring that bell. And I will catch you all on the next Pop Culture Therapy.